Hello everyone, I'm going to introduce a very special product. This is a USB webcam. I will turn a speed webcam into wire RJ45 cable. And you can also connect to this router at home. The LAN port of this router, we can connect with him. When we were doing live broadcasts, you can get through this router. Bring this screen to your computer's OBS. This USB camera is connected to this converter. RJ45 wired network of the converter. Then connect to this router. In the same way, this router is connected to a wired network. We connect to the computer again. The computer and the converter and this router. All of them are the same local internet. This is the browser I opened on my computer. Enter this URL. You see, there's live video. This picture comes from this. Similarly, I can also use it in this OBS. This is OBS. I will click this to add a browser. Then enter this URL. Enter it in. Open it at this time. That's when there is live video. This is OBS. This USB webcam to RJ45 converter. There are some restrictions. I have to explain it to everyone. The first thing is, not all USB webcams work. It can only connect USB 2. Let's say your USB webcam is USB 3. It can be backward compatible with USB 2. This converter is ready to use. The second thing I want to share with you is, its smoothness is not very good. Its fluency is about 20 frames per second. He didn't get to 30 frames. The third thing is his video delay. Probably 300 to 500 miss. It seems to be very high. We will know when we see it. The last thing is very important. Currently, it only has image applications. It has no sound. If you have a radio here, go to your computer OBS or browser to watch. There is no sound. This is very, very special to pay attention to. First, connect the power supply. This one is DC 5 volts. Then prepare a computer. Connect this converter with a wireless network first. Its name is 7XXXX. The connection password is 1234568. Open your browser. Input 10.10.1.1. Okay, I see this picture. Okay, let's make two settings. The first thing is to see the second option. Oh, this WLAN LAN option, select LAN to save. Then the second LAN is set. Then this place was changed to manual. Please enter this URL. For example, the router at your home. My domain is 192.168.1.1. Then my side. I set it to 192.168.1.x. Then I usually start from 200. I'll just call to 17. For example, it is like this. The first three are the URLs of your home router. That last number is defined by yourself. Usually I start counting from 200 onwards. Okay, then just press the same as save. The computer wireless network is connected to this white box first. Connect it first. Okay, connect it. 192.168.1.217 This is what I just set up. Oh, did you see it? Oh, I saw this picture. Then the next step is to connect our router. I connected his router's LAN connection. There are two LANs here. I will connect this converter to the longer one. And then, the white one. I connect it to my computer. Good. Please be careful, my Wi-Fi here is turned off. I turn it off. Turn off the wireless network. Okay. This time let's take a look at my computer. LAN to that router. 
then connect to this white converter at the same time. The computer, the converter, and the router. They are all on the same domain. Okay, let's test it. The first one, you looked. The wireless network is turned off. All of them are wired. I'm typing this URL. Let's see if you can connect it. Yes, you can connect it. No problem. Okay, okay. At this time, I will use a webcam for a test. I'll test it with this Logitech camera first. This is how it is connected. Furnish a dog. 192.168.1.217.8196 See if there is live video on this website. Yes, you see. In the same way, I can also open this OBS. We click on the extraction browser here. That width, hit 1280. Height hit 720. Please enter this URL in the URL. Enter. Okay, at this time, I can use it when I pull it to full screen. At this time, my USB webcam became Ethernet. Connect to my router. Then use a wired network to connect to my computer OBS. You can take a look at the smoothness of the picture quality. He is about 300 to 500 minutes delayed. Pay attention to take a look. Oh, can you accept it this way? Because this has been compressed. Then if I go RTSP, it has a higher latency. I'm currently going with HTTP Motion JPG, so the latency is quite low. Next, I will test various USB webcams. For example, this is a USB document camera, and this is another Logitech camera. There is also a USB microscope. This is a USB file camera. I'll replace it. Replace it with this one. Insert it. This USB webcam light is on. It means that he has already passed. Okay, now I'll go to my computer apps to take a look. The computer OBS is still catching it again. The same URL. 1280. 720. There is a live video. That's the same truth. This browser also has a screen. Just press enter again. That's it. Now I switch to a USB microscope. Show on OBS. It can also be displayed in the browser. If you're capturing live footage from an HDMI camera today, you need to use this HDMI video capture card. Take China Cheap the capture card as an example. It is divided into two types. One is USB 3. The old version one is USB 2. It targets compatibility of converter. It's very bad. You can only use USB 3. Not that he wants to eat USB 3. He has fixed the previous USB 2 capture card bug. The picture will be correct. Then you need to pay special attention to buying USB 3 version. Look at his side. This side is curved. There is a round one. Be sure to see that this side of the mechanism is round. Don't believe that there is a blue one here. That's all a lie. Anyway, the institution side should be round. And the seller is very guaranteed. I am sure he is a speed free version. This time he is truly USB free version. Let me demonstrate it to you. Connect this HDMI capture card to this converter. Then we turn on this camera. I connect it to this place with its HDMI output. That's it. Good. At this time, I open my browser again. Let's take a look at this URL first.
Oh, there is a picture, right? Oh, the picture quality is not bad. Oh, that's right. Okay, then I'll turn on my OBS again. No problem. Not bad. Finally, let me summarize with you. This converter can connect your USB webcam. Convert to RJ45 Ethernet. The key is to connect to the router in your home. When we were doing live broadcasts, live streaming is usually done over a cable network. Your computer also uses a wired network. Then use this method to get my USB webcam. Extend its use distance. Through the router at home, you can keep your computer and converter on the same local internet. To proceed, make a live broadcast application. Then it has some disadvantages. I have to be honest with everyone. The first thing is that it can only support USB 2. Some USB 3 webcams can also be used. However, it must be backwards compatible with 2 to be used. The second thing, the smoothness of his video is only 20 FPS. So it might be a little bit smooth but not as good. The third thing is his video delay. About 300 to 500 ms, it has reached that critical point. The last thing is the USB webcam. Connect this converter, only the application of images. It has no sound, because our converter is only responsible for translating his UVC to that HTTP format. I didn't change the voice, 